Welcome to another video. Let's determine what the last digit of any factorial is going to be. At first, you might think it's some complicated task you're supposed to do, but as soon as you begin, you're going to notice that the answer is always simple. So, remember that the factorial function is defined only for natural numbers and the lowest you can go is zero. So we know zero factorial, which some would say is not a natural number, which I agree to. And we have one factorial. What would be the last digit of two factorial? What about three factorial? What about four factorial? What about five factorial? What about six factorial? You're going to see a pattern and you can predict what the next factorial is. In fact, it doesn't take long. Let's get into it. Assuming you know what a factorial is, it is just the product of, in a descending or ascending order, depending on how you like it, we can say that one factorial is equal to one. Two factorial is equal to two times one. And the answer is two. So as you can see, the last digit of one factorial is one. The last digit of two factorial is two because there's only one digit. Let's take it a bit higher. So what about three factorial? Well, three factorial is going to be three times two times one, which is going to be six. So the last digit of three factorial is six. Let's take it a bit higher. So we go four factorial. What do we get? We're going to get four times three times two times one, which is basically four times six, and that's 24. Okay, so we have 24, and the last digit of four factorial is four. Let's take it a little higher, and we go five factorial will be equal to five. Four times three times two times one equals, what would that be? It's basically five times 24. What is 5 times 24? It's 1 half of 24, which is 120 with 1 zero on the back of it. So now you see we've gone from 1 to 2 to 6 to 4 to 0. Now let's just take one more so we can establish a general rule. So now when we get to 6 factorial, it's going to be 6 times 120. But see, if the last digit of this is zero, whatever else you use to multiply this will always end in zero. It's like multiplying 10 by any integer number, you'll always get a zero at the end of it. So whatever you do from now on, so this is gonna be six times five factorial, okay? It's six times five times four, which is five factorial, which is six, which is 720. So you see that the last digit is zero. So generally, the last digit of any factorial is zero unless the factorial or the number or n is less than five. If it is less than five, then you're gonna get one of these numbers that you can easily compute. We know one, zero factorial is one, one factorial is one, two factorial is two, three factorial is six, and four factorial is 24, and you can easily find the last digit. So, generally, every factorial you compute such that n is a natural number, the last digit will be zero, unless the number is one of these numbers, one, two, three, or four. So you will observe that if we keep going for whatever value of n, n factorial is going to be some n times some numbers n minus one, it will ultimately multiply 120 Okay, because we'll end up with this as long as n is greater than 5. So times, tap, 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 120. Okay, we're multiplying. And our answer is going to be some giant number that ends in 0. So we can call it A, B, C, D, tap, 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 tap. But the last digit is going to be 0. So the last digit of any factorial, 
such that n is greater than or equal to 5 is 0. And if it is not, then it has to be one of these, 1, 2, 6, or 4. So what I can say finally is the unit digit of any n factorial is 0. For n greater than or equal to 5. Otherwise, it is 1, 2, 6, or 4. It is one of these first calculations, including 0 factorial, which is also 1. Never stop learning. Those who stop learning, stop living. Bye-bye.